Greetings, fellow outsiders. Welcome to a new liminal space horror game called Pools, which is one of my favorite levels from the back rooms that I'm aware of, just because it feels so calm in that kind of uncanny, weird way that liminal spaces often make you feel. This game, as far as I know, doesn't have any jump scares, but it is classified as a psychological horror game. It's supposed to be relaxing, uncanny, eerie, hypnotic, and immersive, which uh, I'm excited about because I like horror like that, where it's not so much in your face or gory, but it just kind of leaves you feeling unsettled. So let's get started with the first chapter. I think we're going to be watching tapes, which is another uh, common theme from what I know of the back rooms. Looks like we fell through. Which means this guy could either have been here for a long time already or just now came into the back rooms. I feel like, oh man, I don't know. I feel like we have paths that we can take. I don't know if there's like a linear way to go through this. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna go in the water. Oh, I like it. I love, um, <clears throat> I love water. Are those my feet? Wait, no way. Do I leave little wet footprints? I leave little wet footprints? And it makes like a soaking noise? Like I'm wearing shoes and socks? <laughs> that is really cool. That's a cool attention to detail. Oh, and now I'm kind of swimming. There's a bit of resistance here. Ooh, I like this already just from the physics and the visuals. That is so cool. Oh my god, that is so cool. Oh, and the puddles change based on how much I'm soaked. You can't tell me that is not a really cool attention to detail. Oh, I love this. I was gonna say, I no games have done that with snow in the past. Like when you start walking in snow and then there's footprints there left by you. But I actually don't recall ever seeing someone do this, like when you're walking, at least not like this, like in the pool rooms. Although how many games have like a pool like this <laughs> where it's just the tile and everything? Okay, what am I looking at here? Is this supposed to be a map? It's either a map or other symbols. I'm not gonna be able to remember this though and I'm not gonna take a picture, so <laughs> we're just gonna be wandering aimlessly. Is that something in the vents? All right, let's go towards the light or towards the dark. Always towards the dark. If I have the opportunity to scare myself, even if it's not in the traditional way, I will do it. And if it gets too dark, we'll do my trick of just walking backwards into the thing. Okay, so there's an area over there. Have I been over there? Let's go down this way instead. Already doing a good job of the... Uh, feeling very endless, like it's easy to get lost in. <clears throat> Honestly, liminal spaces and just horror in general, ooh, I don't like how dark this is, are generally, oh my god, it's just so dark, I thought I heard a whisper. Are generally relaxing. Because here's the thing, is a lot of what liminal spaces are is drudging up nostalgia anyway. You know, I'm going in this dark hallway. Because a lot of the spaces remind at least, I think, older generations of their childhood. How far back can I go? I'm sorry, you know I have to. Oh, this is it? Whoa. What was that? Not afraid of the dark? Heard the ominous bellowing? Yay! I'm actually very scared of the dark. Actually, you know what? No. As I've gotten older, I've gotten less scared of the dark, but I think it's probably partially because I've been playing a lot more horror games. <laughs> so you you don't get used to scares and, you know, things that are like really sp spine tingling. But in some ways you do. Kind of like an exposure therapy in a way. Um. But yeah, it's never uh, what's in the dark, but or it's never the dark itself that you're scared of, but what's what might be lurking there. It's so 
Cool. I really want to see something just like down in the bottom. There was one time um, I got recommended some random YouTube video and it was like someone who had built miniature models of scenes. Um, and it's really cool, very artistic, um, a lot of talent. Oh, you know I'm going down there. You know I'm going down there. But they had like a pool room and there was like a monster in it. And it was like a, it was like a very uh, Lovecraftian vibe. Oh God, this in VR would be actually terrifying. Should I just go off the edge? Say la vie! Ooh, fast forward? Oh, it rewinded me. They were like, no, you're not allowed to do that. Okay. Well, now that I've done that, I have a couple options. I can go down there. It's like water, and then it almost looks like a light bulb, but I don't think it is. And there's something over there that caught my eye. I'll come back here. I'll check this area, and if it's not too interesting... Oh, is it a slide? And we'll go down the other place. Oh, cool. I suppose I can go down there. I don't know what I want to do. I think I want to go check out the other area. I can run when I'm not in the water, which is nice. Honestly, though, I mean, other than being hungry and not having, like, a source of food and water, the back rooms itself was never that scary to me. I mean, I know that people added in the monsters and stuff, but back when the... I remember the back rooms starting to gain popularity online because there was a couple of pictures that inspired the idea of it, of liminal spaces. Those vents keep making noise. Oh, I heard a footstep. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. The reason I'm not going in the water too much is because it's scary, <laughs> but also because um, it slows me down a little bit, which I'm not sprinting through this anyway. Because it's gorgeous. Hey, I was gonna go up there. You jerk. I bet that was another human. I actually was gonna go up there because I was like, oh, that'll be interesting. My opportunity is taken away. Moments like that, though, are really creepy. When you realize you're not alone, even though it feels like you are. Like you might be being watched. Okay, I see an area up here. Have I been in here? I think I was in here. Oh yeah, that was down there. This is a bright room. Oh, I'm back here. Alright, should I just go through the slides then? There's another place over here, though. I really want to jump back down. It was cool that they just rewinded us. They were like, hey, that's like a permanent decision. <laughs> that doesn't take you into another back rooms. I see stairs here. All right, I'll go here. Why not? The stick figure looked very happy. You're like a clock ticking. Oh no. It is a clock ticking. I don't think that's accurate. It's also going backwards. Ooh, that's a cool concept. Oh, it's so cool. Oh no. Is there an end to this hallway, or is it just over here? Okay, this is just over here. I guess we'll go check out the um, slide then. And then I need to figure out where to go next, I guess. Is there a way out of here, or do you just explore? I mean... <laughs> Is there a way out of the back rooms? Or do you just explore until whenever? Can I go up here? Ooh, interesting.
Is that breathing you? I need to know if that's if that breathing was you right now. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, this isn't where I thought it was. Oh wait, there is a door here. <laughs> did I miss that? Was that always there or did I just get distracted by the breathing so much that I didn't notice it? Cause this should take me back out here, yeah. Okay, so then I've explored there and over there and there. Were there more pathways to choose? Maybe I should just get out of here. Let's just backtrack. Even though that feels like a good central area, all of the places just took me back to where I was. I'm gonna go down here instead. It's not quite as scary. Oh wait, this is this. Hmm. Okay. Maybe if I go down in the water? I don't think it's gonna allow me the opportunity or the privilege of choosing not to get my feet soaked here. Okay, I just got chills. I think it's those vents though. I think there is something in the vents. Because every time we're around one of them, I seem to hear something. See what I mean? I'm gonna go through here. Okay. What I think is cool, too, is that the back rooms are kind of linked very much towards video games and what they can build because I feel like it's a combination. I've seen, I've actually watched videos, essays of this and stuff, <laughs> talking about the back rooms um, just to have on, kind of like podcasts. Okay, those are my feet steps. I'm going to go through this one. But it talks about the idea of like no clipping and the interdimensional things and how something like this is kind of like a randomly generated idea that originally originated in video games. Or at the very least, if not video games, then like simul computer simulations like this. So it makes you wonder if something like this would have existed in the mines, which it probably would have because there were things like Alice in Wonderland and everything where you get kind of transported interdimensionally and everything but I feel like um, the backrooms has been at the very least now linked with the world of video games I know that there's someone in there okay what's down here is that a pathway for me it sounds like someone is like smelling me sounds like someone's going should I go up to the left? I meant the right. I'm going to the right. Hi! <laughs> He's like, ooh, a new person. I've never met you before. Hi. Are you gonna make a noise? Have I been here before? That hallway seems familiar. I know you weren't here, though, because I would have remembered seeing you. Alright, let's go back. Oh, I just realized, though, with the wet footsteps, it leaves so much opportunity for there to be footsteps, like, in a place where I haven't been. If that makes sense. I suppose I could go down there. I just want to see what's over here first before we go down the other dark hallway. Because it doesn't look familiar to me. I love the pool lights. The pool lights are a nice touch. Do they normally put in pool lights for pool levels in um, Backrooms games? I feel like it would make sense because it's the, the pool rooms. Oh, this is this one area. How do I get over to that though? Okay, I'm kind of getting an idea of the map. I probably should have- <laughs> I probably should have taken a picture of the, uh, the one that I saw at the start. But there was no, like, indicator of where I was, so even if I had that map with me, it would take me a while to actually figure out what I'm doing with it. Can I go this way? Is this the way I came from? 
That shows stairs. Oh, and this is here. That's that central area. Does that make sense? I'm trying to think about it in my mind, like where I came from and everything. It has to in one way or another, either that the walls are changing around me. I love the rubber duck. I don't know if this is meant to be scary, but I love him. It's so wholesome. Um, it either makes sense in, this, in the sense that the walls are changing or I'm just really bad at the direction, which I generally am in games. Okay, so that means that this is probably a new way for me forward. I don't know when the level is going to end. Is it just when I choose to have it end? The water's moving around me. It makes me feel uncomfortable. When I choose to have it end or I run into something that's making those bellowing noises. Oh, I'm in here now. Yes. This is what I needed. This is also where the noises were coming from, right? But there were noises in this room. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'm so nervous that I'm gonna be hearing footsteps behind me. How far up can we go? See the pathway. Okay, I'll run. <laughs> Twist my arm. Ooh, red means scary. There's a slide. The other slide I interacted with wasn't red, right? Was it? Is this a new place? Can I go on the slide? Should I? Let me see where the slide goes to first. We don't want to be dropped into just anywhere. Yeah, this wasn't the other slide room that I was in. I should be able to go down there, though. Well, if it takes me to the same spot, which it could potentially not, it could just transport me. Can I actually do it? <gasps> Yay! Oh! This is so fun! Whee! <laughs> Get completely motion sick. Oh, look at the water! Man, I love realistic horror. It's so cool. Okay, anything under the stairs? Just thought I'd check. Are these climbable too? Can I see my character's hands when I go up? No. Thought it might give us some input as to who they were. Well, that was fun. That was an experience. This isn't scary at all. <laughs> Anytime I see one of the, um, s the slides in particularly the pool rooms in these games, it reminds me of, oh god, what's that one? Oh, there was like a TikTok, which TikTok loves liminal spaces too. Um, there was one where it was like, I've been here 50 years and I'm still not bored. There's absolutely nothing that I can't afford. That song... I'm not singing it well, but um, there was one video, like with the back rooms, and it was it was one of the back rooms characters like sliding down on a pool noodle on one of the pool rooms. So now every time I see it, it reminds me of that. Is that me making those noises? It must be. Here's another interesting thought: if the pool room's water, I'm going towards the noise is even water. Or if it's like some thick, viscous, viscous, viscous liquid. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought you said there weren't jump scares. Hi. Oh, I can move you? Oh, fun. Do you think he's an entity though? He probably is. I'm gonna leave you over there, okay? Don't come after me. Are you going to turn more? No! 
I actually really don't like that. He's not even, like, threatening me. Like, he's not even like, oh, I'm gonna murder you or anything. He's just looking. Are all of the pool noodles moving? Is that what it is? I don't think he can get through here anyway. Oh, no, I feel like I have to get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. I never thought I would be so threatened by a rubber ducky. Oh, my God, it's so creepy. The next thing that I'm kind of wondering is going to happen is if there's going to be something underneath the water. I know a decent amount of backroom stuff. Um, I know about the pool rooms. I know there's like a garden level. I know that there's another really popular one that's in like a parking garage. Um, I know about level exclamation point. So I remember in one of the video essays I was listening to, it was like explaining the different backrooms. The most dangerous backrooms levels there are. And there's the classic back rooms thing. Exit. I'm not gonna lie, I am itching to get out of here. Unless that's just gonna take me back to the rubber ducky because I am kind of backtracking to where the rubber ducky is. Oh, I hate how the, I can hear the water moving around me. This way? What is this? Oh my god, no. What? Turn around? Thank you! Oh my god. I was wondering, I was wondering just how much of this, considering... Because not all horror games have jump scares. There's a lot that are like psychological horror, walking sims, that do a really good job of getting under your skin. But so with something like the backrooms that so many people have contributed to, like with games and artwork and animations and everything, sometimes it's kind of like, oh, okay, like are you going to be too desensitized to like what the backrooms is to be creeped out? Oh my god, it's done such a good job <laughs> of creeping me out. I think because some of it is unexpected. I still feel threatened, even though there's not... There hasn't been anything that, like, says, like, I'm gonna find you while you sleep. There's a couple chairs there. You think I can take that? I really want to go up there. I don't know if it's gonna be worth my time, though. If, um... If it's just gonna rewind me again. But I definitely want to take the dive. <laughs> I don't know why, okay? I just want to see what happens. It could be the exact same thing. And also, that's kind of scary alternative. Can I jump? I can't jump. I also can't do that. There are two chairs here. Two lawn chairs. Or I guess pool chairs, too. I hear breathing every once in a while. Never know if that's actually my character or not. A game that doesn't have music, though, that is a horror game, perfect opportunity to add in, like, little things like that, especially if you're talking like me. I mean, it's effective even if you're not distracted with something else. Like, if I was just playing this on my own and I wasn't, like, commentating out into the open, I would still hear those noises and be paranoid. But now it's like, okay, I'm talking... And you think you hear, like, an extra set of footsteps, and it forces you to just kind of stop and, and really listen. Alright, you think I'm scared of this? I'm not. Okay, maybe a little bit. Oh, God. Can I actually fall here? I want to make it to the end. I want to know that I can. Oh, no, I'm nervous to stay. Stay on it. Stay on the tightrope. We gotta jump off the diving board, okay? It's gonna be so much more fun if we can make it. <laughs> I love this. Oh, the sound effects are so nice. It's like I really am slapping the 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 board with my feeties. 
Okay, here we go. Goodbye. Did we just die? Chapter one completed? No way, that's so cool. I mean, not the, not the thing that just happened. The, the back route, the game is really cool. Oh man. I was just thinking about it though. If you're in some place like the back rooms that are like completely endless. Okay, chapter two, I'm assuming this is a new person. Would it be a worst fate when you fell like off something like that to just fall and be terrified for a couple moments or fall and just be falling endlessly? Like just endlessly. I know it's hard to comprehend because that doesn't happen in real life. Um, with gravity and everything like eventually like there is something to stop you from moving but like in this theoretical back rooms I feel like it would be pretty terrifying until I mean eventually you would meet your demise because you have to eat and drink water and everything else I'd hope you just pass out and not remember <laughs> the rest of it um, okay let's go up there's another slide there the slide was pretty fun from before so this is a new chapter. Because I don't remember this turquoise stuff being here. With the other guy. Could be the same guy. God, the sound design is beautiful. Should I go in here? Is this like... Oh, it's just the center of the pool. Okay, we've got a ton of stairs. Perfect, cool. I'm listening if you can't tell. I'm listening because I'm nervous and scared. Is there something moving in here? I think that's just the reflections. Is it? Oh, it's creeping me out. It's so peaceful. I love stuff like this. I feel like I can't say that enough. I love peaceful, creepy, atmospheric horror. One, because it lulls you into a false sense of security, right? So then when something really creepy happens, like the duck turning towards you or the hands from the previous chapter, it, it is more likely to deliver the effect that it's supposed to, or even something like this. Um, ooh, I wanna go in here. Don't turn me around actually though. Ooh, I don't have a flashlight. But I see a vent. Is that a vent or is that somebody there? Is that a person? That's a person. No, that's a person. Wait, that's a person. <gasps> no, it's a fish. What are you, a dinosaur? Can I move you out of here? Oh, that must be a rubber ducky. Oh my God, the rubber ducky. Oh, it is. It is. Okay, it's a rubber ducky. I thought you were a person. It's not much better. You're still scary. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> My curiosity is gonna kill me one day. Rubber ducky is still there. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go around here. What happens if I run? I still can't get over the puddles. <laughs> it's little details like that that make a game though, you know? Um, Cause you have to have a good premise. You have to have good bones for anything. But then those like little tiny finishing touches where it's just like, oh wow, that is that is cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. Sometimes that's what makes you remember it. Okay, so there's circle and then the triangle. Um, triangle normally means warning, right? And then there's this over here, too. Can I go into the light? <laughs> no. 
These are just lights. And we have the dark hallway. I'm hearing breathing, but I think it's just because I was making my character run. I'm gonna go here first. Can I just jump down? Nice. I'm hearing a vent, but I don't see one. I heard that. There's another set of slides. They look different than the other ones I've seen. God, how far do they go up? That says triangle over there and then circle. Can I d just dive down here? Is it just gonna rewind me? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, that's a lawn chair. Okay, there's a lawn chair over there. Um, it appears I can walk to this, but is there a reason I would want to? I don't think so, right? Oh, there's stairs. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Am I just gonna die? Because this is darkness. Am I just gonna... Okay, that's not a fate that I want for myself, actually. On second thought... On second thought, my curiosity is satiated. Let's just go... Let's go to the circle. Let's go upstairs. It's making me wonder too if it kind of forces you to explore certain areas and then you'll come back and it'll open up places. But I'm doing that just based on the fact that I didn't find my way to that one pathway in the first chapter, but it could also just be that I chose the wrong areas or I wasn't as observant. Hmm. There's a pathway here. A lot of lockers. Does this just take me back to where I was? I think it does, but this wasn't always here. No, because I would have remembered seeing the lockers. No, you're lying to me. You're gonna be like a knock on one of the lockers or something. I'm gonna keep going this way. And here? I really like this. Have I said that? I know I have. I'm gonna go through here. I can't? What if I go sideways? No, dang it. I really wanted to. Alright, we'll go up here then. Keeping an eye out for any other doorways. Your footsteps definitely echo. Oh wait, this just takes me up here. Then back down to this area. Okay, I'll go explore that area again. At some point- wait, is that blood? Oh no, it's just dark. It was just reflections. I was like, oh, is there blood from where I was before? I'll go this way next. See what's down this hallway? Ah, oh, darkness. Is this where I came from? I guess we'll find out. No, this definitely feels different. There's a vent. I was wondering if I was gonna hear whispers. I am hearing breathing. Here's more darkness. I thought I maybe could hear the bellows from here. Hey, I saw this through the thing. Cool. I saw this through a tiny doorway. I can't jump, so I can't jump over the railing if I wanted to. There's music playing. 
I hope you guys could hear that, and that I'm not just going crazy, because I swear I hear music. Okay. So this is back in the central area, right? Uh, okay, so that's where the triangles are. Let's go over to the circles next. See what's down this hallway. I'll let my character breathe a little bit. So it doesn't scare me again. See the pool. That is the name of the game. Not much has happened in this chapter yet, though. Not that much happened in the first one, other than kind of walking around the pool rooms, but we did get to see the other rubber ducky before. Um, there's another slide. I feel like water parks aren't as common as they used to be. Are there? I haven't heard of a good water park, a new water park being built anywhere. Not that I keep up with that kind of information. We have two different doorways. I don't think I've seen either of them because I don't remember this blue one. Go over to the left or the right. I'm a little less creeped out because I do think this place is an echo. So when I run, I don't think that it is the um, monsters coming after me. At least not immediately. This looks familiar. Hmm. <laughs> Alien gets lost, the video game. This doesn't look familiar though. This looks new. That's really dark, too. It doesn't always mean, though, that it's darkness. Sometimes it just looks dark until you walk through it. But I'm gonna go this way because I didn't recognize it. And I love adventure. Some stairway. I hear something over to the left there. That looks familiar, though. That part looks familiar. Oh, I'm back here! Okay, was there a door I could go through back here then? Where these guys are? Yeah. There, there was. I heard that. Oh, but this is this. Okay, I'm looping then. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna go to the darkness. I'm crossing over to the dark side to see what's here. I'm kind of scared too, though. Whisper in the dark. Did you hear that? I did. How far back can I go? Oh! Oh! Oh, it doesn't want me going down there! Okay. I hate how accurate the rewind is. It doesn't just, like, take you up. It does your exact movements. Okay, so there's whispers in the dark. So that one was actual darkness. I did get an achievement for that, so anytime you decide to go into the dark, <laughs> it rewards you. Ooh. This is new. New area. It's always those vents. Those vents always have something to say. I know the chairs are supposed to be creepy. The chairs don't creep me out that much. I think the one that was the most creepy was the chair that was facing towards the clock in the first chapter. Because that's kind of like, okay, someone was actually sitting there. Oh my god. Hey, Rubber Ducky. Good to see you. Are you here... To murder me? I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, it's so simple, but it's so effective. <gasps> hey. 
I see you. Whoa, sorry, sorry, sorry. Make close contact with the residents of the dark place. They're residents? Are they evil? How do I get up there, though? I see a beautiful statue. That's really beautiful. Hey, I didn't mean to, I didn't know that, like, I didn't know, I didn't know a friendly hug was off limits. Are they coming towards me? Mm -mm, sorry. Sorry, guys. I appreciate you inviting me to the party and all, but I'm kind of an introvert. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and read. Thank you. See you later. This is cool. I've never seen a statue like that in the pool rooms before. Though maybe I just haven't consumed enough backrooms media. <laughs> This makes me feel good, though, because I, I feel like we're actually making progress towards... ...things. Is there any doors or anything over here? I didn't see any, but maybe there's something behind that pole? I don't know. We'll come back if I need to. I'm gonna go down this dark hallway next. All right, it's a locker room. I don't want to say anything. Okay. I heard that. Someone knocked on a locker. Wait, so have I been here though? I remember seeing a red swing. Or swing? Can I go up here? Am I gonna look through one of these and something is gonna move through it? So I can't go through it. No. Oh no, I'm on the other side! I saw this through- I must have s thought I saw the other red slide. I'm on the other side of this one. Well that's good at least. It's a new area for us to see. There's a yellow circle up there. Do I need to remember these things? I can't zoom at all. Is it moving? It's moving. Art appreciator, appreciator restored a layer of the scatter piece art. So if I see symbols like that, I have to do it? Also, why is there a red light shining there now? Please tell me it's just from the... Okay, I think it's just from the slide. So if I see symbols, I just have to stare at them. Oh, maybe it's the circle and the square. Or, the, not the square, the triangle that I saw. Maybe that was the circle on this side, and I'll have to find the triangle on the other. This game is making me paranoid. Those sounds are ominous. If I've ever heard ominous sounds. There's a swing. Oh, it's so cool. In any other situation, I would love to swing. No, even in this situation, I would love to swing on that. So we can go up. Is it moving? Uh-uh. Okay, where should I go? What does this hallway look like? Looks like it's part of the same thing. Can I look over here? Not hearing anything super special. Let's go up. I love the blue. It's so pretty. Um, Can I go to the other side? I don't know if this is going to be a rewind or if it's going to be the end of the chapter. I guess it's been long enough for a chapter, right? Technically? Because this is too far. Well, let's see. How? Oh, I see now there's glass. Do you see it shining with the light? I did not trust that. 
Okay. Ooh, this is so much worse. Oh, it's so much worse with the blue walls. I thought the blue walls were gonna be nice. What is on the other side of this? Oh, they're like showers. Because the blue is really pretty. And I was like, oh, we get some color into it. Into our lives. But it almost makes it darker. Alright, there's the abyss over to the right. Let's not take that pathway. Not this time. My curiosity has been satiated. But my hunger for adventure has not. <gasps> the light! At the end of the tunnel. At the end of the subway. I really think um, this reminds me of the Exit 8. A lot of, um, a lot of games have been even subtly inspired by the back rooms. Ow, my ankles. This looks like almost like an observatory. Oh, great. More of the residents are down here. <laughs> Let me call up Leon Kennedy. What the hell was that? Did someone throw a mind water bubble at me? How dare you? Oh, I see it. I see a piece of the puzzle. I'm gonna go look at it. You can't stop me. Maybe you guys can, actually. Is he gonna turn towards me? Is he? I never thought I could be so scared of rubber ducks. All right, we just stare at it for a minute. Is this not working? It's not moving like the other one was. Oh, no, I fixed it. Oh, so there's different circles I can do. So there's four more around here? There's four more circles? Are you serious? Have I missed that many? Have you seen them? Well, if I find them, I'll try and restore them. Maybe the residents will leave me alone if I do that. Because the other one was, like, actually moving. Kind of like water was. We'll see if I can find them. Or maybe that's reserved for another playthrough. If we're nearing the end of the chapter. It at least lets me know for future chapters that there might be collectible things like that. Do you think this is what it was like to bathe in ancient Rome? <laughs> All these chairs and everything. I hear music for the first time. Is it coming from that speaker? Oh, nice! Oh, lovely selection! Thank you very much. What are you distracting me from, though, while you're playing nice music? Any of the circles could be on these pillars, too. Okay. New section. It's the, the marble section. Oh my god! More artwork! Hey there! How's it going? Staring up into the sun. This is actually really cool. It's so beautiful. And a slide. Do I go up to it or down over here? Let's go down here first. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any art circles. Actually, should I? Let me go check out the slide first. Because if this takes me to the top of the slide, then maybe I can find whatever I need to at the top of the stairs. And come back and take the slide down <laughs> instead of running up and down the stairs. Potentially. My theory, at least. God, this guy's thighs have to be on fire now. So not only am I making him walk all these stairs, I'm making him run up the stairs. The ominous sounds are back. Hmm. 
Okay. I do think you can fall. So I'm going to be as careful as I can going up here. And then up here. Do we see any circles? I don't. Yay! My theory was correct. Is it going to spit me out in a completely different spot, though? Even though I just walked the entirety of the slide? You know what? As long as our, as long as our character is having fun, that's really all that matters, isn't it? Yay! At least I got the opportunity to do that. I'm really curious as to how the pool rooms game to be, though. Now. For the back rooms. Like, the story behind it. No, stop moving. No, 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 no. I want you to go forward. Alright. Quick sweep for any artwork? No. And then down here. Yay, darkness. My favorite thing in the whole world. Wait, is this where I came from? There's stairs down here. What was that? I got winded somehow. Okay, this looks familiar, but the brown trim doesn't. So I feel like this is a new area. That's the thing about these games though. Oh my god, no! Wait, is it a deflated guy? Or is it just a pool noodle? Wait, is it just a pool noodle? Can I take this with me? Now you can actually jump in the things and not have to worry about, like, drowning, because you'll have a pool, pool noodle around you. Alright, first time we saw one of those. Oh, I was gonna say, though, the um, Backrooms is really the game that you want if you want people to be confused about like, randomly generated hallways and everything. Because a lot of the places just look the same anyway. This feels final. Okay, chapter two completed. Okay, so that was chapter two. How many chapters do we actually have? Hold on. Okay, so we're on three right now. We have six total, so we're about... We're going to... We're a little less than halfway through. I did look up this... The... Uh, backrooms wiki for the pool rooms it says level 37 sublimity i don't know if this is like canon to the back rooms all right let's play too um but i was curious to know more about it also because maybe we can learn something about backrooms lore here and it says something called you feel a calming sensation all right we're through wait so is this the same dude wait so you didn't die before because this is the same dude because he came out of the blue thing it's a survival level difficulty class one which is safe unstable and devoid of entities which i don't know if that's true in this version of the game because <laughs> are the residents technically entities the rubber duckies that we keep seeing around here but this place isn't too bad um and then here's the description, level 37, commonly referred to as pool rooms. It's an expansive complex of interconnected rooms and corridors slightly submerged in undulating lukewarm water, which the lukewarm is almost worse than cold water, right? It just happened because cold water feels normal, especially if like you're already warm to begin with. You get in, you're a little chilly and then you warm up as you, as you get used to the water. Uh, lukewarm implies that there's like maybe something warming the water, which is creepy in and of itself. This is so pretty. Wait, this is one of the most gorgeous pool rooms I've seen. It does feel like an art exhibit. I feel like I feel like the back rooms you could have some cool liminal art um, in real life. What is this dripping? Is that me? Or is that this? Um, each level varies greatly in size and structure. Ranging from uniform pools and hallways to more abnormally shaped areas. Kind of like that one we just saw. Should we go to the left or right? Let's go to the left. Because it's darker. Okay, I see nothing. Sorry. Sometimes sometimes my exploring ends up being pointless and that's fine. Uh, the wall ceilings and floors all appear to be constructed from the same white ceramic tile. With the only deviation being the color of a blue-green hue of the water. 
They're all eerily pristine. That's the other thing. Is like, it's so clean. Wait, actually, legitimately, other than the regular back rooms, like the original back rooms with the yellow walls and everything, which even then you could argue that that's clean. It's just looks yellow and kind of weird. What is this? Oh, cool. The water is like defying physics or it's like a big waterfall. It almost looks like saran wrap, doesn't it? And then there's the pool, pool noodles in there. I like this though. I'm gonna choose that the water is like in there th through like saran wrap, <laughs> even though I know that's probably not what they were going for. That's what it looks like to me. This is so pretty. Uh, let's go in here. So, and then, okay, they have ambiance next. I wanna learn something about the back rooms while we're doing this. This is my own little personal video essay that I'm doing as we're exploring. It looks like we can go into the water there, but until it gives me a reason to, I'm not going to. I'll just go up. Um, the architecture of level 37 is varied, but strict in design. All areas are connected to one another in a senseless manner. Which is how it is for most back rooms. None having an easily identifiable purpose. I hear static. I'm hearing static. It's right here. Um Yeah, just talking about the pillars and stuff. This is all stuff that we can actually see in the in the pool rooms. That's normal to me. Um, upon investigation, traces of magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt, have been discovered in the waters of level 37. Epsom salt, I think, could be used for muscle relaxant. Oh, it's a steam. Oh, this is what I heard. It wasn't static. It was steam. Okay. Cool. We can just relax. Do a little mindful meditation in here while we breathe in. I'm not sure we want to breathe that in, though. It's so funny to me that they added <laughs> Epsom salt into the lore of this, though. This compound, when engulfing one's body for extended periods of time, has naturally relaxing effect, relieving muscles and alleviating body pain. There's another place up here. I don't think there's any harm in checking them out. Uh, but due to their coexistence with the aforementioned Epsom salt, it's believed they enhance water's relieving effects. Wait, wait, wait. Alongside this, traces of multiple- there's a toilet? You know what? You do you, boo. It's a little concerning that it's in the pool rooms, though. <laughs> this is a no pee in the pool zone, please. Um, they said traces of multiple identifiable compounds were also found present in the water. Origin and properties, substances unknown. Some of them can cause calming effects alongside the magnesium salt. So there could be something else. That makes me wonder if they're technically entities, too. You know? Alright, we got a big pool rooms. Didn't look familiar to me, and I also don't see anything in there. I don't see anything like the artwork that we saw in chapter one, either. That doesn't mean that it's not going to show up. I don't know, also, too, if that's just, like, achievement hunting. Or if it would have done something significant to the story had I found all of those circles. But, we'll see. Hey, we got some more slides. So the red one goes there, and then the green one goes somewhere. I'm gonna take the green one. <laughs> For some sense of adventure. Is it just gonna take me back to the start? Is there a green slide that I don't remember seeing anywhere? You're in a big circle around. Okay, now I don't know where I am. That's okay. I think I've been doing a pretty okay job of recognizing where I am. In the environment. Oh, but now we have to walk all the way back up here. Dang it. <laughs> hey. There's a guy up there. He's contemplating life. He looks like he's a marble statue, though. Is he moving at all? I don't see him moving as if he was breathing. That's really cool, though. Oh, and when you're first here, he kind of gets hidden by the... the pillar. Oh, I'm over here now. All right, let's take the red one down, though. So we don't have to walk the stairs anymore. Yay! 
The slides are a nice touch. Okay, this looks new. Um, oh, even though I want to go that way, I, the darkness calls my name. Oh wait, this is just the toilet. Okay. That's just the toilet. And then this is where I went up before, right? Must be. Or is it not? Is that where I came from? I think that's where I came from. Either way, I'm gonna backtrack since I already know what the toilet is. <laughs> it's nice that that is an identifiable landmark for us. To know where we've been. This place looks more pristine. Like less off-white and more of a blue-white. Hey, that rubber ducky looks like he's in a rave. Okay. I see a dark, dark hallway for me. What's it gonna be this time? Bellows, whispers, a third option. Oh no, it's not a dark hallway, it's just dark tiles. Ooh, the tiles are so much scarier. <laughs> Oh, this is so much worse, but I can't see. Oh, I hate this. I hate it. Oh my god. Sometimes the binaural audio hits just right. And it really feels like you're in that environment. I hear moaning. Or creaking is rather more accurate, I think. All right, I can't go that way. I'm gonna have to take this red slide somewhere. I am loving this so far. Should I take the red slide or should I check this out first? Let me check out the toilets first, hell yeah. Hello? Oh, I can actually open them? Oh, I normally can't do this in games. They keep me out. All right. And this one has a toilet. Anybody need to go? <laughs> we'll have to remember this for later. Okay, cool. I honestly was not expecting to see toilets in this game. So what a nice, pleasant surprise. I'm gonna pull up the backrooms wiki again while we go through this into what? This is fun. I wanna learn more about the backrooms, I'm sorry. Is there an entity behind me? Oh, I just realized there's windows everywhere. Okay, maybe I need to pay attention more. I won't get dis distracted as much. Creepy. I still don't feel like I'm being watched, though. Maybe it's just the, all the artificial light from the windows. Um, okay. By unknown means, a minimal and constant rippling is present in waters of the level. Covering level 37. This all seems like standard information, though. If you know what the back rooms looks like. Is there anything more interesting? It says entities. Here's static, but that could just be the steam room again. Level 37 is entirely devoid of life. No encounters with entities or other wanderers have been recorded on this level. Um, it's also unimaginably large that anyone could possibly come across another within it. Aside from the lack of animated life, no entity has been discovered. Uh, that being... Wait, the Hydrolytus Plague? What is this? Referred to just as Hydrolytus, a bacterium uh, currently located in water-related levels. This disease previously mentioned lurks around unrelated, untreated bodies of water, but it appears more inside um, of abandoned pools. Okay, so that's like a theoretical... Oh, creepy. A theoretical disease that can be found in the pool rooms. It's transmitted by airborne particles containing the bacterium. I don't think that that's going to be coming into play here. Although it could be, considering we're breathing in the steam. It's so much harder to see. And that makes it creepy. Ooh, I like that they added in the sauna. It's a new environment to look at. 
They've done a really nice job, the developers, of weaving in different environments while still making it all feel like the pool rooms. If that makes sense. Oh no. Hey guys. There's no entities on this level, right? Can I touch you guys? I just wanted to see if they would do anything like the rubber ducks. They're not turning towards me or anything. Hey, sorry, just squeezing around. Are they? No, they're not turning towards me. I don't think they are, at least. See ya! Another toilet! Anybody need to go? No? Uh, there's a lot of toilets. Two, three. Anybody ever tell you the toilet isn't your pool? I got that backwards. Okay, do you think physics applies in the back rooms? Oh, I don't think so. I see a door. Is it gonna be like a slide? Are we gonna go like, wee? Or are we just moving with it? Oh, so cool. Oh, I have chills. I don't know why. I don't know why. That is cool, though. I like stuff like this. The perspective shifts. Oh, that's so cool. Really confirms to you that you're kind of in another dimension or something that defies the laws of reality here. I like that a lot. Oh, and now we're doing it again. <gasps> oh, cool! Is this the end? Wait, really? Feels like a shorter chapter if it is. Whee! It's like a mustard tube. Did I just die? Someone was walking. Wait, was that me? Did you just drop the camera? I need you to confirm that or not. Alright, so there's a lot of darkness that way. I would love to explore it, but alas, there's an impenetrable fence keeping me from doing that. Oh, cool! It's like we're in that painting! Oh, it's so cool. I love stuff that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but surrealism, um, I don't even know if that's what this is, but like absurdism or surrealism, I, I don't know, is one of my favorite um, genres of art, either in theater or like this kind of art, like um, what do you call it, like physical art. I just think it's so cool. Okay, we can go left or right? Oh my god, they've reimagined the thinker on the toilet, and someone's watching him? <laughs> hey bro, can I help you at all? Did you just forget toilet paper? This guy's like, no! He forgot toilet paper! <gasps> I did. I'll never be able to wipe again. Nice booty, respectfully. Maybe that's what he's looking at. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Good luck with your predicament. Now this, now this is art. That makes you think. That makes you pee. I thought that it would rhyme more, but it didn't. It's a bad joke. <gasps> oh my god, they've, enca they've encased it. This guy's not on a toilet, though. He's on a, a pool chair. This is so pretty. Like, all jokes aside, this is a gorgeous game. It's so cool. If I knew that I wouldn't, like, die in the back rooms, it would be so just fascinating to actually walk through them and see something like this. It gets too dark to see in the back. I am making my character run through the water. And I know they are running because they have one hand on the camera that they're holding right now. Which is confirmed, actually. It's not... Unless the footsteps were someone else's. But I think that they dropped the camera and picked it up here. We just don't have the VHS filter we normally have on things. 
There's a light over there. Another light. Ooh, we got some music. Don't see anything here. I don't think I can actually sit in any of these places either. Okay, we'll go up here instead. What am I looking at? Toilets? Can I go into the darkness? God, yes. This darkness doesn't seem to be whispering to me at all. Oh, it's not darkness, that's why. <laughs> I see the tiles now, it was just too dark for me to see that it was shadowed. All right, more sauna. I have to say, the sound design is just phenomenal. Like walking on the creaky, oh my god, I can't see. The uh, creaky floorboards and the sound of the squelching feet, it's so good. I can't even begin to describe how good it is. It just feels so realistic. I think that's why I like it so much. Whoa! Oh my god, I love it. Oh, it's so creepy. Did I fall through somewhere? Wait, so that was that? Chapter 3 completed? That felt like a shorter chapter. Is that just because I didn't get lost as much? That's just because I didn't get lost as much? I woke up somewhere. Oh, okay. In another sauna? Did that show the thing broken? It was a little dark for me to see. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to look up another pool rooms fact before we continue. Because I think they're cool. Okay, colonies and outposts. Due to lack of general incentive, it is possible isolating prop it's possible isolating properties and the fact that this terrain does not allow for permanent settlements. Uh, no outposts currently exist within level 37 outposts. Is that a thing with backrooms? Related to entities, maybe? Okay, sorry. I won't get distracted with the facts anymore. <laughs> I just got hit with a water thing. Is that some backrooms entity I don't know of? They said there was no entities in this though, I think. But I wonder what that like water vendor is. What? The steam just like fully went away. Did I just breathe in a touch of the hy hydrolytis plague or whatever it's called? God, the wood with the turquoise is so cool. I like that color combination. What nightmares await me on this level? See what I mean? What keeps happening with that? Is that just the back rooms claiming me as one of their own? Am I gonna become- You said there was gonna be no jump scares. I thought you said there was gonna be no jump scares. That scared the absolute crap out of me. I don't even know why I turned around. It didn't tell me to turn around or anything. I don't even know why I did. Oh my god, my heart. I wanna go over here because it looks like there's an iceberg. Oh, it's a person with like big lips or an open mouth. Oh my god, that was, that was like, My heart jumped out of my chest. What is over there? That's a window. Oh, this is so creepy. The imagery is so good. Ah. Anybody have a hamburger? Go over to the left. I want to see what's over here, though. It looks like there's another... One of these. No hands this time. Oh no, 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 I don't want to go down. Can I though? I don't think I should. 
I don't think I should. I don't think that. I think that's just gonna end with me drowning. I still haven't picked up any snorkeling gear or anything. There was a pathway over to the other side. So if this isn't the right way forward, we can always go back there again. I feel like this has some. So I know in the first two levels I spent some time exploring. I feel like I explored a lot of the levels. I do feel like this has some replayability though. Depending on how much you want to look at. It'd be interesting if there was a map. Although I don't know if there would be a map, because for something like the back rooms it would make sense too if it was just procedurally generated. Okay, got some dark pools. This is why I saw someone talking about like, um, <laughs> You learn so much on TikTok and on the internet, right? Someone was talking about uh, why, like, black pool tiles aren't as common. It's because it gets so dark that you can't see what's in the pool. That's what someone said. And so, especially if you live in some place where there could be critters that are, like, dangerous to be in the pool. Um, I thought it was interesting. I have no reason to know that information. I'm not building a pool at any point. But this is like a prime example of why that is, is because it's much harder to see. I hear like a high pitched whining thing. It's so subtle, but I do hear it. Like a tea kettle in another room. I'm gonna go down here. I'm transfixed by the lighting here. It could be the, uh, the lights though. What is this? Fluorescent lighting? The hum of it? I'm kind of scared to turn around. Especially in these waters now. I'm really loving this, though. I feel like this is really what the back rooms would feel like, too. I think that's what it originally tried to encapsulate, was that feeling of being watched, the nonsensical nature of it, being lost in, in a kind of um, inescapable hell. <laughs> I swear, I hear like a whistling coming from somewhere. It's down over here. I think that's where I came from. Should I go up here? I'll go up here. Sometimes you just gotta make choices. You just gotta make choices and stick with them. I could go there, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep going up. And now, how much more can I go up here? It's like there's a slide there. I'm gonna go up here instead. My decisions don't actually have any logic to them, but I feel like that's kind of like the back rooms, right? The back rooms don't have much logic to it either. Ooh, am I more curious to see what's up or over here? Ah, I want to see what's over here. Whoa. This is so cool. Let's go this way. Actually, should I go back up? I am kind of curious to see what's up. <laughs> what's up, dog? Have you guys smelled up dog lately? It's like everywhere. I heard it's actually like an epidemic. <laughs> I'm baiting you to ask me what's up, dog, in the comments. <laughs> okay, I can go down or up here. I'm gonna go up here as much as I... <gasps> hey, more entities, but they're not duckies this time. Hey, guys, what's up? Whee! Are you guys as threatening? They actually, I feel like they wouldn't be as threatening. Do the eyeballs actually follow me, though? Is that me making that noise? I think they do. Wait. No. <laughs> Just be my best friends. See you later, guys. Thanks for sharing this moment with me. There's a pathway up there. I think I'm back to the stairs. 
Was there somewhere over here? I think there was. What does the red one take me to? Well, let's see, I guess. There's no wrong answers. There's probably- there probably is wrong answers. <laughs> but I'm still gonna take this. Okay. <laughs> just smash my head into the wall. Oh, am I just down the stairs now? Oh, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Because there was another pathway for me to go up there. Well, I guess I can keep exploring a little bit. Maybe the ladder? Did I crawl down this ladder, though? I think I did. So we'll go see what's down here. There's more of these dark pools. I thought I saw the bottom of that. I don't like staring into it. It makes me feel like something's staring back at me. Yeah, I have been there. This is- this must be where I came from then. Oh wait, yeah! There's more stairs here. There's these stairs. You're getting me confused! And like, I- I- being confused is not fun. Especially for me, because when I get confused... At least you know that where you've gone kind of with the wet footsteps. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll go this way. Because if I have been the other way, then maybe this is new. Or is this back where I started? And wait, is this where I just got jump scared? I think it might be. Because it looks familiar. Alright, then I'm going to go up these stairs then. Either way, going up the stairs, there was another pathway that I could take somewhere. So I think my answers lie up here. There's a pathway there. And this? Okay, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Thank you. It still creeps me out. I don't know why that gives me chills of all the things in the game, but when it rewinds me, it literally like gives me goosebumps. This looks new. This is looking more familiar though. Like the back rooms that we started with, the pool rooms that we started with. No, wait. Is this where I started? I definitely saw this. Yeah, and then that's that. Okay, so we're not going to go up here. I am recognizing some things. It's nice for me to know at least. So let's keep going up the stairs then. Because so I think these stairs are new. Because I don't remember seeing that before. But we definitely have walked through those other pool rooms. I'm also not trying to, like, see every single inch of the map. But, um... Because I think it might be redundant to just try and do that and remember everything. Also, because unless I'm, like, actually writing down directions, it would be hard for me to fully remember a space as vast as this. I don't think there's a reason for me to go down there. And I can't go through the doors. All right, so there's more pathways there. I'm more curious to see what's down here first. But I re will remember that that's there. Okay, this is new. This is new. I remember the purple floaty from the last chapter. That's what- the bacteria thing was something from the original backrooms level. Like the office level zero? Is that what it's called? Level zero? Um, the one with the, all the uh, yellow walls on it? There are more stairs. I'm confused as what the st which stairs I've been on and which I haven't been. But that was a thing, right? That the entities were actually people that were infected. Ooh, this is where I am. Okay. I think I went back and walked up these stairs though, right? But the like, the like wiry creatures, if you're familiar with the back rooms at all, the like entity that's on that, the yellow wall room, I thought that someone had told me at one point that they were, like, infected. 
with like a bacteria or maybe that was in some of the games that I played because I have played backrooms games before and they all kind of has have their own lore okay so I can keep going up or or go down the the slide I'm not gonna do the slide yet because I don't know where that's gonna spit me out and I don't want to lose my track on the stairs because there was other places that I could go to up here Okay, there's a left, and then this way. This way didn't go anywhere. There's a blue slide, though. Okay. This game has effectively guaranteed that I do not want to turn around at any point. Let me look at what's over here first, because I don't think it's gonna- <gasps> Wait, can I jump off? Should I? Is this gonna end the chapter, though? Wait, okay, okay, okay. I feel like this might end the chapter instead of just rewind me. So let me see what's up these stairs first. And then we'll go jump. Or if it feels like this is going to be the end of the chapter, then we'll jump first and then come back here. I heard that. Okay, there's the blue slide. And then this... Oh, that revealed a new pathway for me. And then a pathway down there. Okay, I'm more curious about this than I am about jumping off the thing. I'm gonna go down here. I'll do my best to remember where I'm going. Oh, it's another one of those statues. I was like, what is that thing that I'm looking at in the back here? I don't want that thing to turn up behind me. A slide is going into its mouth. Oh, hey. Also, I just want to point out that if there was something or someone that created these back rooms, they're at least aware of humanity or something close to humanity to have built these statues along everything else. The sound design is just incredible. I think too, because it fills up the massive space. It really adds to the fact that you're in this inescapable, gigantic um, prison. Oh my god, look at this slide! The slide is the creepiest! They're like holding it up. They're like the gods of this world. Okay, I'm kind of glad that I took the time to go and explore this area. It's cool that they showed me the shadow thing at the very start of the chapter so that you kind of knew that you could walk towards it. Okay, we're going to the light. Make sure nothing's following me like before. What the heck am I looking at? Are those my footsteps? I mean, I know they're going along with my footsteps. I've never sounded like I was wearing heels before, though. I go into the darkness? Oh, my need to see what the statue is is too big. I don't want to jump and then just end the chapter somewhere. If it takes me there for some reason, I want to see what this is. Oh my god. Hey guys. What's up? This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. That's the other thing that I love from some of my favorite types of horror are like ones that are like beautiful, <laughs> like have such kind of a cinematic 
vibe to it where it's like, okay, yes, this is unsettling. And if I was in this situation in real life, I would be terrified. In fact, seeing this as I turn the corner gave me chills again. But then looking at it, you're like, wow, this is, this is pretty. This is pretty. And it almost has like a message behind it. Oh my God. Should I go? All right, that was chapter four. I wonder if there's different ways to end the chapters too. Like if I just decided to jump off with that big building surrounding it, because before when I jumped off the ledge at the first chapter, it sent me into the abyss, which is why I thought that potentially it could do the same for this one. Okay, I think this is chapter five, right, that we're entering? So then one more after this. What did I just see? That wood? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck? If a wood chuck could chuck wood? They're bricks, actually. <laughs> Bricked up in the back rooms. What? You guys say something? I could have sworn I heard something. I didn't say anything. So what's next? I don't know if anything is going to scare me quite as much as... The... Why is there a shadow in the corner of my... On the sides of me. Um, I don't think anything could scare me quite as much as that guy standing behind me at the start of the last chapter. Uh, left or right? Let's go left. I think it likes to keep you in the water sometimes. We'll see. Oh! So that's why we could see the bricks. It was introducing a new area to us. I wonder if each one is going to have that. Because we had the turquoise rooms. Oh. And then, um... Where's that water coming from? What? We had the uh, turquoise and then... The sauna. And other things. I could go up here, but I really want to see what this is. Can I go down these slides, actually, though? I see a stairwell here. Hi! Oh my god, I can! Which way should we go down? Let's go down the blue. Whee! Yay! <laughs> you gotta have some fun, even when you're facing certain death. That's what life truly is about. Alright, I saw this pathway, and I was curious about checking it out, so we're gonna go down here first. Ooh, okay. Um, which stairwell? Maybe that one? There's also this one that goes somewhere. But I'm more curious about this. Also, I could have sworn there was another doorway somewhere over here, and I thought maybe we would see it. There's so much more weird noises in this one. I feel like I'm not talking as much, but one, it's because I'm listening, and two, because I feel like it is definitely more of a chill vibe than some other games. I wish I had more sick backrooms facts that I could uh, spit out. Oh, another level that I know of is the one where it's like all the houses. I think someone said that there were entities that could come and get you at, the, at night during that one. It's like during the daytime you're okay, but then at night, if you're not in one of the houses, someone will come and get you or something. That one definitely feels like it was born thinking of games, <laughs> if that makes sense. Having an enemy come at you and some sort of strategy, strategy to defeat it. I could go down here, but I'm not sure that I want to. Also because, okay, there's a diving board here, right? That's like an inch of water. You are definitely breaking every bone in your body. I'm gonna go down here because it's more familiar. <laughs> the bricks are kind of unsettling in the pool rooms, not gonna lie. Not that this isn't unsettling as an imagery, but it's more familiar, right? Even if the pool rooms weren't a thing. Tile in a bathroom or a pool. Just feels right. I think I see showers up ahead. Every time I turn now, I'm like, 
Is someone behind me? Am I hearing something? Oh, there's showers and toilets. You can take a shower while you pee? Nice. Oh my God, that's so innovative. I keep hearing water moved behind me. The echoes do you no favors. Whoa. This is like full on architecture now. Like interior design. Is it or is it concrete? This feels like a house. I don't feel like I'm in the pool rooms anymore. Or maybe it's just like a really nice bathhouse or something. Maybe that's what they're going for. Yeah, it does. Ooh! The wood sound design is so good! I wonder how you do sound design like that. Like how you how 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 actually can you record something? I want to look that up now. I'm interested in it. To where it sounds so so realistic cuz there has to be some way that you have to translate it. Cuz I know for binaural audio, right? You can probably have like like dual microphones for each ear and that kind of thing. Um, and then place the sound where you need it to. But like, do you have to have special microphones to those like big sounds that make you feel like you're in just a gigantic room? Like how do you add reverb to stuff like that to make it sound real? Or even the wood floor creaks and everything. Do you just record actual wood creaking and then add effects over it? I know it has to be that, but I feel like it's more complicated than, than just recording the sound and putting it in. Because there's sometimes, there's sometimes you hear it in games like now where it's, I hear it and I'm like, oh, that just sounds so, it really sounds like you're walking on top of like creaking wood. I seem to hear music. Or maybe it's just ambiance noise. What am I looking at? Oh, more pool rooms? Okay, nice. We've got the abyss. For good old time's sake! <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I hate doing it. I hate doing it. There's no reason why the, the rewinding should creep me out as much as it does. They should really add a railing here. This is not up to code. Excuse me, good sir. Okay. Up. Oh. oh, I'm here! Wasn't this from another chapter, though? This was totally from the last chapter. Can I go through here? No. This was not from this pool rooms. How do I get anywhere from here, though? <gasps> do you see the hands? I can't zoom in. I really wish I could. Are they going to move? Oh my god, I was over there. I've got my eye on you. Those are my favorite scares. They're my favorite. The ones that are so subtle you can almost miss them. Okay, now we're back into our weird um, non-physics binding area. We can either go over to the left. We're gonna go this way. Actually, I'm curious to see where this is gonna lead me. The hands are still there, in case you're wondering. We can go down here. I kind of want to explore this, because it's all very new. 
Ew, what am I looking at? Oh, wait. He was looking up at me. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. You're seeing it from the, a different perspective completely. Oh, wow. Okay, and then we walk down here. Oh, can I not go over here? I have to go this way? That is cool. Do you, we saw him during the last chapter. He was looking up and this was just like a ball of light. But now we're seeing it from the inside. Okay, there's a pool underneath us. Ooh, this is kind of... Ooh! Okay, and the hands are still there. There's nobody else around, though. Let's go up. Okay, this is the only way forward, but that's okay. This is messing with my sense of direction, like, completely. So I think that was one of the ways I could have gone with another pathway, but I chose to stay kind of on this area because I wanted to see what was at the end of it. I always want to look down when we're moving there, but then it changes the perspective anyway. You think aliens came up with the back rooms? Oh, I see water down there. Am I going to die this time? No! Perform a dive worthy of an award. Thank you. Oh my god, I thought hands were up there again. I was like, no, not the hands. Look <laughs> at something so tidy, be so creepy. And then we have this. I haven't seen one of these in a while. I mean, we've seen the things. Wallpaper? Is this this looks lime this looks like lime green to me, but is this supposed to be the yellow wallpaper from uh the original backrooms? It's pretty. Definitely out of place. Ew! Ew, wet carpet! <laughs> Ew! Oh, this feels- no. No, this feels so much less safe. Also, because even if the pool rooms doesn't have, um, entities... What is that? Is that a... drain? Like a city drain? Even if the pool rooms don't have entities, the level zero of the back rooms does, so if we're slowly transferring into it. Can I go down this way? So I'm gonna grab my ankles. I don't know. It makes me so paranoid hearing the water slosh. Okay. Left or right? There is a right answer. Do I know what it is? No. I'm gonna go straight, actually. And then this way? Should I be following, like... The left-hand wall, like a maze. I don't know that that's gonna help us very much. Oh my god, Doctor Who! Why did the lighting shift so so suddenly? Do these telephone booths even exist in in reality anymore? I feel like Britain still has them, but is it just like a tourist thing, or do, are they functional? <laughs> I think they're pretty cool. Telephone booths have been used in enough music videos. Very hipster. Okay. I don't think there's any turning back here. The one red slide comes back down here. The other ones I don't know where. <laughs> there's a slide that's just a straight arrow up top. That's funny. <laughs> you just crawl through the slide as the water goes. I'm gonna take this one because it's gonna be faster for me to run. Not that there's anything I realistically have to run from. At least that I'm aware of. <laughs> Here. Oh wait, are these different slides I can take? 
Oh, I thought I would have to walk around. Um, okay. Which one do I want to take? Wait, before we go. So the red one... Oh wait, do they all just go down? Straight down? Okay, I don't see... The, the one looks more like a pipe than a slide. Maybe that, maybe that is piping. I will take the blue one. Wee! <laughs> that was fun. I like that they add the slides in. We have pools within pools. This slide, you would break, like, all your face. Look at how steep- anyway. The physics don't make sense. Giant toilet?! Oh my god, yes! I don't think it actually is a toilet. Something clicking in my ear? So, I think those are just lights back there. So we gotta find a way to go forward here. Shadows in the waters don't help with the paranoia. Oh, I see an exit. I see an exit sign. I legit don't believe you, though. Except that one guy did point towards the exit. The exit, quote unquote, in the first chapter. So we might be able to find one here. Is there something in the water underneath that? I. This is what I'm talking about with the shadows. I can't tell if that's just a shadow. I think it is. Ooh. Can you swim? Can you swim across? Do I have to go this way? I almost fell in. I don't want to subject myself to the <laughs> irrational fear of being rewinded again. What does that say? Chomp is the exit? Is that like teeth or something? Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven is the exit. Oh, this? I see stripes over here. I'm gonna have to remember that to get out, is what you're saying? Oh, I don't like this. Do I want to go this way? Let me see what's down the other hallway. Just because I don't trust for whoever runs the back rooms to just put up an actual exit sign for us to leave. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, this is different. This is different. It's not quite as creepy as the other place, and I love going places that creep me out. But we'll still see. Okay. Oop. All right, I think I made my choice as to where to go. Hear that? It sounds like something is purring. I'm going in. Okay, they were like, nope. Nope, you don't want to do that, actually. Can I jump in? Safely? Oh, I don't like the fact that I'm gonna be over top it, though. I can't see anything. Oh, I'm up here now. Okay, and this just takes me back to where I was. So I have to go through this the other room? I guess maybe I do. Oh, it makes sense. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no. I'm in some sort of gated area on top here. Okay, that works. Oh no, I'm just up top. Because this is where the other hallway would have been for that. So am I just falling from a higher distance? That can't be the worst thing, right? <laughs> right? Whee! How do I get out of here? Are these stairs? Ooh, this is my favorite environment so far. There's something about the stripes that are extra creepy. 
Feels almost like a fun house or something. What is this? Stairs the gun to nowhere? It was all an illusion. I suppose the back rooms could be an illusion. Ooh, a cool back rooms would be just like a thing completely filled with illusions. Kind of like what we saw before with all the stairwells going in different directions and physics changing as you walked on them. But like more intense than that. I feel like that would be a cool back rooms level. Oh! I found my way through. Somehow I managed to make it through pretty well. I mean, I've tried exploring a little bit, but like actually getting lost hasn't been too bad so far. I see an escalator. <gasps> I have chills once again. Is this going to be the exit? Should I just sit and wait on it? Bye bye, back rooms. Whoa! They're attacked like a fly trap. <laughs> Anybody need to catch chairs? Apparently, I know how to do it now. Ah! Hi! Oh my god, he's smiling! Oh, it's so creepy. What's on the other side? Nothing? Oh my god, my curiosity is definitely gonna be the death of me one day. Oh, and there's one of the things in a boat? Do you think these were dropped in? I mean, I feel like the telephone booths are less likely because they're all kind of uniform in a place, but maybe the boat was like dropped in from when someone no clipped into the back rooms. There's also a stairwell over there that leads into... Almost looks like a silo. It's very cool. Okay. Have I satiated my curiosity? Are we ready to just go up? Yeah, I can't see what's in that silo. Oh, man. Is that a house? Sounds like someone's on the radio. Is that someone who's living down here in the back rooms? Or some sort of entity that was created in here? I need- I love- I love stuff like this. It's so cool. Feels like you're reading a sci-fi novel. Oh, the voice is backwards. It sounds like it sounds, you know, that there's, there's like a whoop, whoop sound effect when things are backwards sometimes. Like reversed. Okay. Let's go. Before they notice I'm here. This is so cool. Okay. There's definitely green wallpaper, so I think we're safe. It's the yellow wallpaper you have to be scared of. There's a door. I haven't been able to open any doors, though. I guess any of the other doors. Okay. I'll take the road less traveled by. Although I'm not sure this road has been traveled by anybody, so... Ooh. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't know this is where I was going. I'm sorry. Paintings? Whoa! Oh my god, you got the physics perfect on that trajectory! I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe here. This feels very unsafe. This feels like a mismatch of other back rooms in the pool rooms. Other back rooms which do have entities. I'm still gonna try and go in the house. Oh my god, I hate it. Can I go in here? No, not this one. It sounds like grass. There's that sound design I really love. Okay. I don't like it because it sounds like music that someone would play like while hunting you. Like while they think this is a game and you're like running for your life. Oh my god. I feel so unsafe. 
Am I still gonna try and get into the houses? Yes. All right, unless it shows me a door or a house that's different, I'm not gonna try and get into every one of them. Also, because there's an earthquake. Where are they even sinking to? They're just disappearing. What just happened? I can't see anything. Chapter 5 completed? Where did I end up? Siren Head? I'm in one of the houses? I can't leave. See, there's a siren. It almost looks like Siren Head. <gasps> oh god, you scared me! Pointing over here? What does that mean, though? Alright, I'll follow that guy. Ooh. Alright, still a sign that we're in the pool rooms. Got a lot of space heaters. Ew. Is this guy gonna have moved now? He's still there. Okay. I wonder how long this last chapter is gonna be. It already feels more eerie because there's a lot less sound. Because we don't have the water all around us. Someone has a chessboard, but no pieces? And then someone is watching. Is this from another thing that we've seen that I just don't remember? Because it seems to be showing us bits and pieces of the other chapters as we continue. Kind of like that one guy that was looking up at us. That was really cool. You see it from a new perspective. Stop there and let me correct it. I want to live a life from a new perspective. I'm like both happy and sad that that song has become popular recently. Because that's one of my favorite, that was, used to be one of my favorite Panic at the Disco songs. Which it was so hard because it was part of a, it was part of a, like, um, movie album to even listen to. It wasn't on one of their regular albums from, um, the, uh, one with, uh, the, 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 the Jennifer's body. Um, I think it was part of that movie's album. But anyway, there's a lot of nostalgia associated with that song. This is so cool. Should I rewind it for good old time's sake? Whee! <laughs> I like that this, this game just lets me jump into the abyss and they're like, oh, you didn't mean to do that. You're right, game. I didn't. Thank you. Stop there and let me correct it. I didn't mean to jump off the ledge and who cares? Divine intervention. Go rewind the tape and I'll be in the pool rooms again. Okay, this is feeling more normal. Here's the other thing. How is this gonna end? I think it's very, very rare that any person actually- Has any person actually escaped the backrooms in Backrooms lore? I don't know that there is like a canon lore, because I feel like it's kind of like SCP, where there's just like a whole community around it that helps build into the, the folklore surrounding it. But in the ones that I remember, like, I think Kane Pixels, right, was the original, or one of the ones that made it famous at the very least. In the ones that I've seen, no person has made it out. Which would make sense. And it would make it all the more terrifying, right? Because it's kind of like in stories that remove death as an option. Um, in some way, shape, or form, it makes it less impactful when it does happen. So, like, it would be, like, even more scary if you were in the back rooms knowing that nobody else has made it out before you. There's a little voice in your head that says, maybe it's me. Maybe I'll make it out. If I just keep trying. But knowing that you would be the first adds to the terror. 
Look, it's like I'm in a bowl of Cheerios. It's breakfast. Healthy meal. I haven't seen any more of those, like, art collectible things. Wonder if that was just for that one chapter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's actually scary. Alright, another slide. Whee! I like that these slides don't have the little seams in them. <laughs> so you don't hurt your legs when you're going down them. Okay, this is pretty normal. There's a giant sauna in front of us, though, it looks like. Cool. Someone's crying in the sauna. Relatable. No one can- no one will know your tears if they're just the sweat or tears. the heaters that are making a weird noise. I love that the beads start forming on the camera when you're in a place like this. How does the camera keep working? Do you have a waterproof camera? There we go. Think about logistics again. Ooh, it's like that one stairwell. Except different now. Hey, that's just a regular slide. It's not a pool slide. Are these glimpses into other levels of back rooms? There might be some references that I don't get. Empty room. If I sit here long enough, do you think something will happen? We haven't had really a lot of movement, though. Of the things that have been creepy, they've just kind of been there. Which, again, are some of my favorites. That was one of the reasons I loved um, Haunting of Hill House and Bly Manor when I watched those. Because there were ghosts and things that you didn't... I'm not spoiling anything um, other than it's okay it's in the name haunting of Bly Manor implies that there are ghosts so I'm not spoiling anything by saying that <laughs> but my point being that there are things if you rewatch the series that you will not have picked up on at the start that you might notice when you rewatch or if you're being extra vigilant during it um, and I like things like that they just end up being a little, a little extra creepy. I feel like I can get through this door I saw through the bottom of it. Yeah. Okay. I'm choosing this path. Whoa! Hey! I've seen animations with this. With the big saw. I didn't know that it was like a, a thing. Maybe it's just a reference. I've seen animations of uh, different um, people in the hazmat suits and they're like, hey man, which slide do you want to go down? I think I'm going to go down the green one. And then they go down the green. Oh my god, wait, I have to go down the green one? <laughs> okay, let's hope I stay safe. Is it going to open up at all? Oh, it was just an illusion the whole time. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back down here, because you spit me out further from it, and I want to see what's down here. If you give me an option to see the secrets, I'll, I'll always choose the secrets. But anyway, they go down it, and one of them gets, like, shredded up, and then the other one's saved, and then the third one is, like, sent to do an even worse level. Oh, wait, I'm just back here? Okay, then I'll go down this hallway. More stairs? Am I getting more lost or less lost than other people? Wait. Wait, my brain is hurting now. Did I walk down these stairs? I must have. Wait. <laughs> I think that answers my question. I'm getting more lost. Okay, I gotta go back here and then choose a different way. What is a different way, though? Okay, I'm just gonna go straight forward. Where it spit me out. Because I feel like I haven't been down here. Yeah, this is not familiar. I'm still waiting to turn around to see if that curious entity is behind me. Hello? Hello? 
What are you saying? Are you only speaking when I'm moving so I can't fully hear what you're saying? Ooh, that was a female's voice. This is unbelievably cool. I love how some of the houses are just like in the pillars. Oh wait, it wasn't Siren Head, it was talking about something with these things. Although I suppose anything could be a Siren Head reference if you try hard enough. I'm just gonna go down this way. See the houses. I don't like the screeching. Should I go up or over to the left? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go over to the left. I see a wooden door. I wonder if my actions determine if I can escape or not. But again, part of me is like the back rooms, once you're in it, you're you're not escaping. Okay, I'll go down here, I guess. What is that? Hold on. That just supposed to be I think that's just supposed to be my wet feet. Oh cool. Oh the rumble I can feel the warmth from the pipes beside me. Ooh, beds or crypts. Probably is more uh, accurate. Should I go in? I'm gonna dive in. Woo! Geronimo! I'm sorry, I just. a thrill seeker. It's so creepy that it copies your movements exactly. It must record your last moments then. Alright, anybody <laughs> need to take a crap before they go into oblivion? down here. A lot of pipes. This one's uncovered. Can I go into it? No. I almost hear a purring with some of the growls. Which is really good because it makes it feel like there's a big monster lurking just behind the shadows. Or underneath the depths. One of the two. I think that is just the pipes moving. At least I hope it is. I'm gonna choose to go up. Oh, an easel! For painting. And a snowman? Wait, what? Oh no, it's a, it's just a regular man with a <laughs> brush in his thing. Oh, they print they painted something, but there's like something on the wall there, it looks like almost. At least there's no one in this painting. Do I have to line this up? Hold on, can I line it up? Oh no, it's not I can't line it up like perfectly. I thought maybe I could. Pretty good painting. Pretty accurate. Demons who live in here. Alright, something escaped. Good to know. It escaped and then just- it, it escaped just to be an artist. There's a beautiful metaphor in there. Alright, should we take the escalator or the stair- let's take the escalator. We can still run up it. It'll be faster for us. <gasps> like punishment. They're like, no, you need to get your steps in. Okay. It looks like I can go in there. Why I would want to. Ah! Well, my choice was taken from me. 
I can either walk up or go- I'm gonna go this way. This way looks nice. There's like a sky blue that I haven't recognized. Any new color is a new opportunity, right? For a pathway, although I think it's still just tile. Star? You're a star. I've never seen this before. Oh, I could have just walked back. I was just too distracted with the abyss. All right, well, I've made my choice. See some stuff back there. See what I mean, though? It's like a brighter bluish color. I'm gonna go towards the darkness. Ooh. It's really dark. I thought this was gonna be one of the whisper... things. There's a chair back there. This is eerie. I do hear noises. Okay, another one of these. I think I can just jump down. Ooh, the splash! It's so good! I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more hyper-realistic horror games as we continue. I've already seen the demos for a couple of them. I haven't played them myself, but I've seen things, like, marketed as, like, hyper-realistic. I think, obviously, as game engines and artists get better at, um... Fit, like, somehow programming physics into games, we're gonna see a lot more of them. And I'm not mad about it, because I still think that there's... I've seen, honestly, some of the most impressive games I've ever seen and some of my favorite games are not hyper-realistic. I think it's just another, like, subgenre that we're gonna see as... as, um, the technology gets better for it. I think there was a slide back there. Which is really what it is. It's, it's able to, like, push the limits of technology. I mean, VR is kind of like that, too. I feel like that's kind of a frontier. But it's really cool, because I remember when I was younger, when I was a kid and I saw The Last of Us come out, I was, like, gushing over the graphics, and I was like, oh my god, this is so incredible. Like, it looks so good. It looks so beautiful. And then, like, years and years and years later, like, the first Last of Us game, like, looking back at gameplay from it, I was like, oh, <laughs> I thought this was, like, the best games could get. I was younger at the time, too. But, like, looking at games now, I'm like, wow. Like, even in the short couple of years, it's kind of like AI, right? You're like, I can't believe how, much, how far it's come in the time that they've had for it. Um, even just computers in general being able to handle it. I think some of it, too, is, is artistically being able to see and recognize and translate something into visuals that look more realistic, if that makes sense. So, like, for example, like, putting the VHS filter or, like, filters like that on, like, graphics that are clean and, like, hyper-realistic can sometimes make it look better, which is what I think a lot of games that market themselves... This one doesn't have it, but there's still, like, realistic graphics to it. Wait, I'm just back here. What? So is this the wrong way to go? Did I go this way? I thought I went this way, though. I did. So, wait, where do I go, then? I chose wrong. Um, but there are little tricks like that, like the VHS filter, that can make something feel more, like, real, like it's in the real world. Alright, I'm gonna go up here, then, because I do remember that there's this pathway. I don't know if it's gonna take us to any different place, though. No, we're just here. But I was here before, I think. Okay, maybe I can go down this way? Yeah, it's so nice they, the footprints don't dry up. At least not quickly. So I saw my little footprints there. I can tell you where you've been. Right, my character will not run anymore. Mad respect for them not going... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> with the cardio. There's a doorway down there and there's another stairwell here. I'm gonna go this way. 
Am I backtracking again? Who knows? This feels new. Oh my god, there was like a shadow moving. Oh my god, the, the reflections are scaring me. There's a reflection of the orange on the top. And it's making me think that things are moving out of the corner of my eye. Hey, there's a clock up there. Is this going to be going backwards too? There's a chair. No, that one's pretty normal. Kind of light. This is cool. <laughs> How many times could I say that? Oh my god, do you see what I mean though? How the reflections move kind of on the corner there? Okay, we're fine. Ooh, is this gonna break? No. Just a drain, but it's flooded. This is so cool. It's so... <laughs> Me when I get jump scared. This is so pretty. And again, it feels, it feels like there's some sort of artistic message to be said here. Players of chess being manipulated by the gods and whatnot. Oh my god. This is like one of the coolest, this is one of the coolest backrooms games I've ever played. This is crazy. That guy's protecting his business. This is so cool. I'm just taking it all in. I like it too, because there's a lot of moments that are just unsettling, but then it's, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I don't always mean beautiful, like with horror games and stuff like that, it's hard because it's like, sometimes the visuals themselves don't evoke like positive emotions, but like the piecing together of it and the colors behind the art is just really pretty to look at. So that's what I mean. No, I don't want to go down there. That's what I mean when I say it's just beautiful. Although, hopefully... Darkness? Complete darkness? Oh, no. <laughs> I see a pathway. Thought I was gonna have to feel my way through the... tunnels. Oh, cool. There's the rubber ducky! Hey, this was an image that I saw from before. Did you take images from my games? I remember seeing this as we were falling through one of the areas, and then we've got some kids' drawings intermixed with, like, real museum art. Not that this would not be put up in a museum, but it, it wouldn't. <laughs> At least not today. Oh, so cool. I like that one. Look, it's like Garfield. I don't know if it's actually Garfield. Oh, cool. Two best friends in the back rooms. <laughs> they might kiss. <laughs> and there's the pool rooms again with a rubber ducky and a giant chair, of course. What does this say? Nothing. I feel like that's, this is art in some way. In and of itself. Cool. Whoa. What am I even looking at? It almost looks like a woman crying. <gasps> no, it's a person. Oh, it's like, a, oh, it feels like an illusion, actually, when you're looking at it. It's a person, like, upside down. Like, doing a backstand flipped over and they've got a long mouth and they're looking at you but it also like from far away it almost looks like a woman crying it's really creepy i love creepy art although when there's so many of them around here 
when you're stuck in the back rooms, it's a little bit more unsettling. Okay, they're gone. Oh, there's another one. A hand grabbing a flower. And a little girl with the claw. I hear like a train. Yeah, there's like a train. Or angry bees pushing something on a track. It's like the subway. What? Why is this in the pool rooms? And there's a bed on it. <laughs> Anybody need a good night's sleep? Hey, this is what I saw in the picture. There he is. The inspiration for it all. You're not gonna come after me, right? I hope he stays right where he is. Okay. This is normal. It's completely normal. For the back rooms, of course. What am I looking at? Is something looking at me? It's like tissue. Ew. Is this a heart? It doesn't look like a heart, actually. It's moving. It's rotating. What the hell? Ew. Okay, that's the weirdest thing I've seen. The meat rope. How many times more am I going to see it? Ugh, I don't like it that it's pulsating. There it is again. Oh, finally. Okay. Here's the top. Alright, this is pleasant. This is beautiful. Beautiful in a kind of fatalistic kind of way. I don't know if that's the right word I'm looking for, but it feels like the afterlife. <laughs> feels like someplace you would walk. It feels like the tunnel you would walk to get to wherever the next place is. As you reflect on your life or something like that. Okay. Thank you. Is one of these gonna let go loose of me as soon as I reach the ladder? You think this is the way out? No way. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. Oh, it doesn't let me turn around. Seems like a sturdy ladder. No rungs are gonna break, right? There's nothing below me now. I think because it only shows up when you walk on it. Okay. Got a beautiful chair. I thought maybe that was the exit. It felt exity. <gasps> oh. Mm. No, the light settled. I thought maybe this felt exity. <laughs> Hey guys. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't alone. Oh, so pretty. You can hear the buzz from the lights. What is that? Exit signs? You think I'm gonna be able to make it out of here? I have to know. I think I see a pathway over there. It's gonna take me a while to walk to it, though. Of all the water, what does this say? Beware of falling. What over here? Or in here? Is it gonna come out from under me? Is that what you're saying? 
or something like that. I'm kind of nervous. Normally when they show you stuff like that in games or movies, there's like a reason. It's like foreshadowing in a way. Sometimes in theater they call it Chekhov's gun, where it's like they're, sh they're showing you something beforehand to prepare you for it so that you know later on what something is in a scene, or know like what to expect in a way. Left or right? Let's go right. I think they went to the same place. Um, can't go that way. A maze is literally my worst nightmare. In fact, no, this this would actually be my worst nightmare. Those people weren't there before. In the thing. Ew. Ew! Oh, they're preventing me from going back. That's the first time they've ever moved. I didn't know you guys could move. <laughs> I keep expecting them to show up behind me again. I don't even- I've lost my train of thought. Oh. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. You know why? Because of the claustrophobia and the and the being lost. Imagine you're in a maze and there are like concrete people following you. You're stuck in concrete walls. You can't get out. Just start hyperventilating. They're still coming after me. <laughs> no, don't close the door. Don't close the door on me. Don't close the door on me. <gasps> Stop, you scared the crap out of me. I'm not moving it, obviously. Are you choosing to stay? Were you leaving the camera? What just happened? Architecture, build your dreams, human anatomy. It was all a dream? Pools. Solving the shadows was another one of the tapes. Oh, cool. That was a really good game. That was a really cool game. I feel like that's what the back room's essence was originally which is just the liminal space and it being more creepy than threatening, if that makes sense. Because let me look up the definition of liminal space too, so that we have like a full understanding. Because liminal spaces, from my point of view, it says the uncertain transition between where you've been and where you're going physically, emotionally, and metaphorically. Being in a liminal space means to be on the precipice of something new, but not quite there yet. The word liminal comes from the Latin word uh, lemon, which means threshold. So, I guess that makes sense from nostalgia's standpoint. I feel like it's the kind of aesthetic of, like, you can go back, but nobody's there. And I feel like this game really captured that very well. Oh, look at the thumbnail for number six. That was creepy. That last chapter was very creepy. Um, there were some, uh, there weren't jump scares, but there were some things that like genuinely scared the crap out of me. For the most part though, it was just walking into certain environments after seeing the pool rooms for so long and then getting that chill. At least I got chills from some of the scenes, seeing them particularly ones like the chess scene with, um, new, I guess they're not entities, but new things in them. Very well done, though. I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did, too. I know it's a little bit more chill, uh, but I feel like that's also kind of the vibe of the game. On that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. My word on Lynn out there, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.